cooking, cooking with Vicky. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm back again. Woo woo. And this is Vicky. If you don't already know who I am. And Thanksgiving is just around the corner, and I figured I'm really getting into cooking with you guys, and I think it's been really a lot of fun. So, duh, let me make something that's Thanksgiving inspired and give you guys the recipe, and you guys can make it for your Thanksgiving. Um, so today we're going to make candy yams, the easiest thing on the planet to make. And I am going to try to come up with a recipe for you guys, so just bear with me. The problem is, I've been making candy yams since I was like a little kid. And at no point in time has there ever been a recipe. Like there's never been cups or teaspoons, tablespoons, put this much, boil for this long, cook for this long, or anything like that. So, I'm going to make official recipe here. So these are the ingredients that you need. We have our sweet potatoes or yams, whichever. You need grandma's molasses. This is like the best thing ever. Can you guys see it? Can you see it? Right? You need grandma's molasses. Um, I, I don't know if you can use another brand of molasses. Maybe you can. I don't know. I just grew up with this whenever we would have like homemade fresh biscuits or um, Pillsbury biscuits, flaky layers, best thing ever. Grandma's molasses goes on top. Yes. Cinnamon. Brown sugar. Um, everything's like, I, I, could just, I just got the organic just because after reading so much about sugar and how it's made, it just freaked me out. Orange juice. You need your OJ. And because my family is my family, <laughs> you need some amaretta. Uh, and amaretta liquor, okay? Uh, this Arono, this use the what other brand are you gonna get? But you also use peach schnapps, so or you can use a coconut liqueur or coconut rum, so like something flavorful like that. So coconut, um, this is almond flavored, peach, you know, some something sweet like that. So the first step for your candy yams is to pick like four to five medium sized candy yams and boil them. You're going to boil them until you're able to stick a fork in them and like no problem. Fork goes in and out, no problem. Okay? So you're not, wash them off, like rinse them off, but you're not going to peel them first. You're going to peel them after while they're piping hot and you're like, oh my gosh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. I know it's silly, that's just how we do it. It is what it is. Um, but you obviously let them cool down a little bit. So, I'm going to boil these and I'll be back to show you how to make the syrup that will go on top of them before we bake them. Okay? So, stay tuned. Boiling time. Okay, guys. I'm back. It is now time to peel the extremely hot sweet potatoes that have been boiling. You're going to hear me go out, 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 out a lot. I did let them cool down a little bit. But I have my typical silver pan, aluminum pan that my mom usually keeps 5,000 of those because, hi, we don't like to do dishes. So, those are really simple. You grab the yam, sweet potato, you take the knife and you kind of like just kind of scrape it across and these are really hot so let's pierce it a little you actually can use your fingers but it's really really hot so you just get rid of just just peel off that skin okay guys and then little tip at the top I dropped it. Okay, so a little tip at the top, you're going to cut that off. Get rid of that little piece. And then just, I want you guys to see, okay. Make sure you get all the skin off. I'm going to read, I'm going to do another one so you guys can really see. Here we go. 
Okay. Move that out of the way. And I have my cutting board that I got for free from Stop and Shop. And I, uh... <laughs> I should have grabbed a better knife, but... We just need it to help me get the skin off. You see how the skin just comes right off? Which, if you had did this beforehand... Hot! I'm going to let it cool off some more. So that's why I'm not going to immediately cut them. I'm just going to do this part first. Because it's so much simpler. Do, do. Ah! Run away, yam! End. Get rid of this end. And you go back in. And then take you. Pierce the skin. Peel off the skin. At least this is a lot cleaner. And not making as much of a mess as. baking okay that's good and then take this one whoop pierce the skin come right off skin yes come to mama you see you get this nice beautiful bright orange Whew. hot hot like fire. Okay. There we go. One more. I grabbed a bunch. Hot. Alright, take one. Come on. From I think how many I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Cause they're kind of all weird shaped. But if you do like four to five, medium shaped medium size yams or sweet potatoes that's really all you need you come off there we go okay so now this is the part where you burn your hands okay so you're gonna slice them lengthwise and put them in the pan and then I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce So you usually get like two to three. Put the cut side up. Woo! And lay them next to each other. So, see? Cut side up. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter, but that's how you do it. Woo! One. Usually you just hold these and cut them right in your hand, but these are just so super duper hot. You just layer them all in. I might have made extra. I might have made too many. Woo! Hot! Did I get all the skin off of this one? Nope. See, I really think just straight peeling them does way better. And then flip this around. Cut. I would not recommend bringing this to a holiday party at work because you were about to put some alcohol in it and you don't want to get in trouble getting your co-workers drunk because despite what my mom says we're not really oh this is kind of messed up we're not really, yeah, you just go right there, um, cooking off the alcohol. So, my mom always said that, oh no, the alcohol cooks down. We're not sitting it on fire. The alcohol's not cooking down. We'll shove these in there. Hot. Kind of get in there. Can I? Can I 
push you up, push you back, move you around, get you situated because I only have one more and it's the weird lengthy one. I think the leftover yams I'm going to make um, sweet potato hash browns. There we go. That's good. So, here's the yams sliced lengthwise, um, cut side up. And now it's time to make the sauce. And then we'll get the baking. Okay. I'm going to try my best to tell you guys measurements. Bear with me as I figure out the measurements. Because I'm just going to be looking at it, but I'm going to actually use cups and things to make it work. Okay? See? Okay guys, so I'm going to show you the sauce to put over the um, over the candy yams. Medium heat, and let me not burn my paper towel. So let's say we're gonna do two cups orange juice, no pulp, Tropicana. I have my half cup measuring cup. One. And you know, you don't actually have to be like precise with this. So, there's two cups of orange juice. Let's get that out the way. Next, we'll do brown sugar. Again, nothing needs to be precise. So, we'll do a cup of brown sugar. I need to leave enough brown sugar to make. Where's, there it is. My wooden spoon. Stir that up a little bit. Mix that around, right? Next will be half a cup of molasses. Do I have half a cup in here? Let's see. Well, make that one fourth cup. Ooh. Gotta make sure get all that in there, all that goodness. Stir that around. Yeah, I mean, this is just sugar with sugar and sugar. But it adds that depth of flavoring. So. so you see, the orange juice is nice and dark now. And we're just heating it, heating it up. Not to the point that you're going to caramelize anything. But just bringing every, all the flavors together. Now we have our amaretta. We're going to do we'll do half a cup, right? Get back to stirring. You'll be constantly, ooh, I dripped some. Constantly stirring, that's why I keep my little paper towel here. Woo, smell the alcohol, yeah baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let me just kind of put that off to the side. And like I can like the sugar's at the bottom, so that's why you're constantly stirring. So you don't want the sugar to burn. You still want to incorporate the flavoring. And just add a little bit of cinnamon. So it's like half a teaspoon of cinnamon in there. Okay, and now you just gotta stir all that up. Because cinnamon likes to just float at the top. Stir it, get it incorporated. 
keep stirring. I need a spoon because I want to taste this. You see, it's good coloring. Woo! Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna heat this through for another like five minutes. You know, you just wanna make sure there's no sugar at the bottom, no molasses at the bottom, and that all the flavorings incorporated. Honestly, you just wanna drink this. It's so yummy. Okay. Alright, so let me just keep stirring this up for a little bit and then we're going to put it on top of our yams. Okay, this is the easiest part. Grab your pan filled of nice, beautiful, dark brown juices and you just pour it in. Really getting in there and coating everything. Then Yes, it's very juicy and very liquidy and watery. And my neighbors in the hallway are making a lot of noise. But that's okay. Because what you're going to do is you're going to bake this at 350 for a long time. <laughs> um, I'll actually tell you in a moment how long it actually took. But put it in your oven for 350 and bake it. The point is, is that you want this juicy sugary concoction to become syrupy in the oven and that's how you get your candied can you get my quotation marks candied yams candied yams okay so in the oven it goes and I'll actually give you a time of how long it takes in a bit be right back okay guys I'm back um took about hour, hour 20, hour, hour 20 minutes. Um, just depends on your oven. Um, if it heats, uh, it runs a little high, a little low, etc., etc. Um, but you know, 325, 350, um, definitely an hour. And then after the hour, just watch it. Um, at the hour point, it still was a little watery. And you want it to like reduce down to like a syrup to basically that there's nothing left. Almost like there's nothing left, okay? So let me just hold this up for you guys. Eee! So you see, it's nice and caramelized and brown and ooey gooey. And there's still some juices. You can like barely see the juices moving because now they've like caramelized and just reduced completely down. And that's what you want. You want like concentrated sugary goodness and candied. Hello? There was, it's called that for a reason. So this is it. It is done. I am going to take a little, little piece because this came just right out the oven. So it's super duper hot. But you still you see like the steam coming right off. So you still have like the orangey goodness of a sweet potato happening. But then it it's like caramelized and brown on the outside. So... so hot but that's my candy yams y'all mm. it's so good okay put that in the fork move the fork away okay because <laughs> it's late at night and I don't need to be eating all this um, but I will kill this okay so like I said it's the simplest recipe easy to make for Thanksgiving um, and it's a crowd pleaser. If you want, you can do, um, I know people do the sweet potato casserole, which is basically all the same thing, except it's now mashed and whipped up. Uh, but I prefer candy yams over the sweet potato casserole. But you can still put the marshmallows on top and then uh, put, put it under the broiler to like brown the marshmallows. You can still do that with the candy yams, if that's what you want. Totally up to you. Otherwise, you can leave it straight like this, which I prefer. That's me. I prefer putting my candy yams in the oven. I know my grandma, White, my dad's mother, she 
cooks her candy yams or candy sweets, however you want to call them, on the stove. I don't like how they come out. I prefer it this way. That's just me. You just teach their own. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As always, like, subscribe, share. Let me know. Give me another recipe. Give me something else to make. I'm enjoying this. I have a couple more videos coming out that I at the moment that I've already recorded. But this one's going to come up first before the other videos that I've already recorded. Only because this is so close to Thanksgiving. I really want to give you guys a recipe beforehand. And I'm really enjoying like experimenting with like gluten free and vegan recipes. Um, this I guess. I don't know. Was everything gluten free? Yeah. Vegan? I think so. Yeah. Orange juice, organic sugar. Yeah. Ah, well, then, yeah. Then this was vegan and gluten free as well. Um, so, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. As always, like, subscribe, share. Get me out there. Have people find me in my cooking channel. So, I hope you've enjoyed this as always leave a comment hit a thumbs up show you love me let's beat out those people who keep hitting the thumbs down because I don't know what's wrong with them they just hate food and love I don't know so that's it for me okay guys bye